Okay, so you'll probably notice that it is going dark outside, and therefore it is slightly later than I started or anticipated, shall I say. However, next we're going to go for the fourth loco, which is the beautiful hint of manor. I have just sliced half the tray in half and popped of what's there for now. Um, but we're going to see hint of manor go around for a little bit. Um, I do apologize about the lighting, so the lighting and the actual quality of the video won't be as good because of the darkness. Um, it means that the camera isn't working to its full potential. So, I do apologize about that. Anyway, let's run Hinton Manor. Little stutter on the points there, it's only got four wheel pickup, and those four wheels pick up via the axles. But anyway, you can see me. Hi! Doing the reflection. Beware of the trains. Exactly. Come on. It's crawling along because the track's being weird. Here we go. It goes into Manor. Very nice locomotive. Very inexpensive, an old mainline one, but going strong still. And it's preserved, which is all obviously a good thing. Of very uh, long list of manners. Um, award for those, pinned comment for those who can name them all, all the manners um, that are preserved. Okay. I'm going to stop the beautiful hint of manor there. Now for the expensive locomotive. The most expensive locomotive in my collection that I've bought singly. And the most expensive Great Western Loco by quite a long way. Now, you'll be lucky if the Prairie, Hinter Manor, and uh, Hogwarts even cover half the price of this locomotive. It is that expensive. And you're looking at one and a half 28 double X's for this like, price of this locomotive. However, it is beautiful nonetheless, and I would still say it's worth it. So, City of Truro time. Uh, last work of the day, I will then say goodnight to you all, and see you very soon, but let's get this beautiful thing going. I would just like to know what a beautiful locomotive this is though, especially in the daylight when it's not like pitch black in here. I know I did say it was pitch black, but I mean it's a bit lighter for you than it is for me. Um, but it is beautiful. I would say it's worth the £150, that's the price by the way. Um, 
I would say it is, well, the £149 as it is, but it's rounded up to £150, isn't it? And it is worth it, but it is a bit, it's a bit expensive for the size of the loco and the mechanism, which is quite poor. But as you can see, it's running perfectly well. I mean, it's fine for me, it runs perfectly. However, um, it is a bit expensive, but it is worth it for the detail and the, just the beauty of the locomotive, to be honest with you. Anyway, that will do us for this Great Western Gala. I do hope you have all enjoyed watching this. Uh, we're ending with City of Truro, the big, well, the expensive, small, and beautiful, and the oldest, in terms of age in real life, of the Great Western family. And until next time guys thank you so much for watching i do hope you have enjoyed this if you would like anything below uh comment what, you, what videos you'd like to see i will note uh there will be a southern railway session very soon there'll be a london northeastern one there will be themes of the colors so but not the green logos and all the black logos together there will be a, a red running session with the two red locomotives that i can run um well there's actually three or four if i run the oh eight and stuff but i don't know i mean steam wise there's two um, but I cannot do a LMS running session because I've only got one and I would need another one in order to do it. However, I will just do running sessions with Loco singly anyway in the future, so I'll do that. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, link in the description below. And until next time, bye for now.